designed for manufacturing. It is made of 8th inch 440 stainless steel with a handle made from molding clay and rubber. Its purpose is to make small detailed cuts or lay out a path for a saw or a chisel to cut into wood. I was inspired by my own knives that I use for woodworking. I really like these knives, however, they've gotten pretty dull. Your hand can get tired when working for a while. The blades are small, they sometimes break off. And if you want a left-handed cut, you have to get a completely other knife. So I wanted to make something that felt more substantial in my hand and that could also make any other cut that I might need. All right, let's start with making the blade. I bought the steel bar off of Amazon and we're gonna start with cutting out the overall shape of the blade. I'm gonna scribe out the lines on the steel and use the hot chop saw to cut out a rough shape Next, I'm just going to gradually grind down the Next, I'm just going to gradually grind down the edges until they meet the dimensions. This steel is actually kind of soft. Uh, so little grinding is much easier than I thought it off would be. on the handles and it didn't take too long. I'm not sure if it was worth it, but it looks nice. Once I feel the blade is sharp enough, I'm going to take it over to the buffing wheel in order to give it a nice shine, a good finish. So for the handle, I was originally going to try and hand carve two identical pieces of wood, but I realized I wanted to challenge myself, try something new, so I tried to cast the handle. I bought the clay, a two-part epoxy, and liquid rubber. But unfortunately, I went through this whole process of molding the clay, pouring in the resin and activator, letting it dry for almost three days, only to find out that it didn't work. The epoxy resin wouldn't harden all the way, and so what I was left with was a giant glob that was just hard in the middle, but gooey and insanely sticky on the outside. So I started over. Plan C was simple enough. All I needed to do was make a similar clay mold and then coat that with the plastic dip. And that should give me a Now that it's all assembled, let's see how well it works. The edge is nowhere near as sharp as I would like it to be and I completely blanked and I forgot to heat treat it. So after some use, the edge starts to dull and bend a little bit. So that's not ideal at all. Moving forward, I recognize my mistakes and I learn from them. And just because the class is over doesn't mean I have to stop working on this knife. I can make it much better because there's not really much I can do to make it worse. If I'm being honest with myself, it's it's a bad knife, but it's it's my knife, and I'm I'm proud I made it. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have a great day.